You know, you really need to be careful with the words you choose. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sermon is 7, your daily dose of inspiration and the place where we prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's possible to receive a mighty word from God in a short period of time. I'm your host, Pastor Tim. Listen, <laughs> usually when someone finds themselves in a mess, everybody always has something to say. And some of the things that they say can be quite nasty, if I, if I were to be totally honest. We all want to chime in and pile on an individual that finds themselves in a difficult situation. As this video is being recorded, right now in Boston, the coach of the Celtics is involved in a scandal with a woman who also works for the Boston Celtics organization. And a whole lot of people have chimed in on that situation. And some of the things that they've said have been unkind. But let me tell you something. Many times when you come down on a particular individual, you don't even understand that you're speaking condemnation to yourself. I've got a passage of scripture I'm going to share with you in a moment, but before I do that, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up on this video. It helps me to build my channel. Also, consider becoming a subscriber. I want you to be a regular. And please, sir, please, ma'am, <laughs> hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I load up another video. Now, let's go to the Word of God. And the Word of God says, about three months later, Judah was told, your daughter-in-law Tamar is guilty of prostitution. And as a result, she's now pregnant. Judah said, bring her out and have her burned to death. And as she was being brought out, she sent a message to her father-in-law. I'm pregnant by the man who owns these, she said. And she added, see if you recognize whose seal and cord and staff these are. Judah recognized them and said, she's more righteous than I, since I wouldn't give her to my son, Sheila. And he did not sleep with her again. That's coming from Genesis chapter 38, verse 24 to 26. Now, for the sake of brevity in this video, because I want to keep it down to a certain time limit, I'm going to encourage you, when you get a chance, go read Genesis 38. Very interesting situation that had occurred there. But let me see if I can bottom line it for you. Judah had a son who was married to a woman named Tamar. The scripture says that this particular son was evil and God put him to death. Now, the law, according to that time, or the custom, according to that time, was if a brother died and left his wife with no children, the next brother in his family would get together with the woman and have children by her on behalf of the brother who had died. So when the oldest brother died, the next brother connected with her. Now, he's supposed to be having children with her, but he's basically having relations with her in a way that won't produce children, if you understand what I'm talking about. So because he did that, God put him to death. Now there's one more son that's left, but Judah doesn't want to give her to Tamar. Now Judah doesn't know why his sons were dying. All he knows is that my two sons hooked up with this woman <laughs> and now they're dead. So I sort of understand his reluctance <laughs> to give his youngest son to the woman. So he doesn't give her, he doesn't give him to her. Now, as time goes on, the Bible says that Judah was in the area where she lived. It was a time to shear the sheep. So she dresses herself up like a prostitute and she's hanging out in the area near where Judah is. He sees her and then he says to her, you know, let's sleep together. So then she says, well, what do you give me if I sleep with you? And he tells her, I'll give you a goat from the herd. So she says, well, how do I know you're going to send me the goat? I want something in pledge before, uh, before I'll do it. So she says, I'll tell you what, give me the staff that's in your hand, your seal and your cord. I'll take these. And when you send me to go, I'll send them back. Okay, he gives them to her. They sleep together. He goes back. Now he sends them. He sent to her to go. But the person looking for her couldn't find her because they were saying there's no prostitutes around here. She'd taken off, you know, the prostitute clothes and everything. And they're like, there's no prostitute around here. So he says, okay, well, I tried to send the goat and I can't let her keep what she has. Now, three months later, it gets reported that she's actually pregnant. And they send word to Judah, listen, your daughter-in-law is pregnant. Now, she's not supposed to be sleeping with anybody. So look at what he says. Bring her out and burn her. We're going we to burn her alive. That's real funny when you think about it. Here you are sleeping with prostitutes, but you want to have your daughter-in-law burnt alive. Okay, when they bring her out, she sends word and says, tell Judah, 
I'm pregnant by the man who owns these objects. <laughs> and it was his seal, his cord, and his staff. Oh, now the truth has come out. Before you wanted to burn her, now you find out this is your doing. You really should be careful with the words that you use. Condemning other people, you might be speaking condemnation to yourself. I'm not saying that we should approve of individuals who do the wrong thing, but there should not be condemning words coming from you. After all, none of us are in a position to condemn anybody. Yes, I can say what you did was wrong, but I don't have to condemn you in the process. Let's leave all of that up to God. Judah found out the hard way that when you run your mouth too much, <laughs> you may discover that you're actually talking about yourself. Be careful with your words, people. That's our word for today. Listen, I'm all out of time for this particular video, so you already know what to do. As I asked you before, give me a thumbs up, become a subscriber, share this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the things that you've heard here on today. Now go ahead and have yourselves a wonderful day. Remember who you are, remember who you belong to, and never forget this God that we serve, the one who tells us that we shouldn't be condemning other people, that God, he could do anything but fail. Join me for another episode of Sermon in 7. God bless you.